Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus and I welcome you to the first part of Let's Play Advanced Wars Days of Ruin, yes. This game made it to the very top of the straw poll that I posted a few weeks back on my channel, where I asked you guys uh, what games you wanted to see me play on this channel. This game took the lead, so here it is, Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. So. I want to give a special thank you to Mage Knight 404 who helped me with uh, obtaining Camstasia Studios uh, instead of the awful Fraps program I used, used to try and record this uh, earlier, which did not work out, let me tell you that. Camstasia is so amazing. Uh, it's a really, really good recording program and there's absolutely zero problems with it. So, uh, still, uh, my computer is not uh, good enough to record uh, Path of Radiance. But I am working on that as well, so who knows, maybe I'll be able to get that Let's Play out there someday. But first and foremost, let's start with Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. So, um, unless you're very new to this channel, you will know that I am a hardcore Advanced Wars fan. I've been playing Advanced Wars for over 10 years. I started playing Advanced Wars 1 when I was like 13 to 14 years old, maybe even younger than that. I've been playing Advanced Wars with my friends, and I still play it to this day. So, uh, you know, I I just can't get enough of the game. My favorite is definitely Advanced Wars 2. I played Advanced Wars 1, I played Advanced Wars Dual Strike, who I am not particularly fond of. However, I've never played this game. Not once, not ever. So, this is actually a completely new experience to me. I did pick it up when it got released, and I played it for about 10 minutes. And I decided I didn't really like it that much. I didn't touch the campaign, I just played a versus mode game. And it didn't look like Advanced Wars, it felt very different, and it alienated me very quickly. So I kind of just put it on the shelf and I ignored it. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, later, lately I've been hearing a lot about it. Uh, many of my subscribers have been telling me that it is actually a really good game and that I should try it out. So yeah, and, and apparently a lot of guys want to see me play too, because it's at the top of the straw poll with, I think, almost 70 votes. So yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go, shall we? So yeah, uh, I have decided to have the uh, main screen to the left and the uh, off screen, as I like to call it, because this is the DS emulator, so there's two screens to the right. I found that this was the most appealing thing to the eye. I hope you guys uh, don't find that. Alright, let's jump into the campaign, shall we? I'm going to start a new game right here. Alright, backstory time. Our world is destroyed. So as you can see, it looks a little bit wonky because it's supposed to be two screens on top of each other. Fire rained from the sky. The land burned. The earth shook. The oceans raged. The devastation was total. It's like a post-apocalyptic story, as far as I know. Dust covered the earth, blotting out all traces of the sun. It seems impossible that anything could survive. Oh, and by the way, the music of this game is phenom phenomenal, really phenomenal. But amid the destruction, there is hope. Chapter 1, Days of Ruin. Roll credit. Roll credits, I should say. Okay. Right, I perhaps have to press start. Alright. Will, please, please let me find someone. There's no one here. The whole world is dead. Hello, help me please. I don't want to be alone. Alright, so he's a sissy. Is he like the main character I'm supposed to relate to? Wait, there's someone there. Where's my radio? Maybe I can call for them and tell them I'm here. Help me. My name is Will. I'm a cadet at the Rubinel Military Academy. Uh, do you read? Over? Har har har! Oh, it's Battle of the Beasts. What's so funny? <laughs> Look, sharp roaches. We got us a live one, and he's just a punk kid. You know the drill. I want his food, and I want his weapons. Leave his corpse where it falls. Ain't no one going to complain. Har <laughs> No, don't do this! Alright, so... This is our first mission. There are too many of them. I gotta get out of here. Okay, hold on, Will. Remember your training. What's the priority in a combat situation? Right. Examine your surroundings and go. How do you say that? Gauge. Gauge the strength of your the enemy. All right. So it's gonna. It wants to get me through a tutorial, sort of, which I probably don't need. All right. So this is a bike, an infantry unit with high mobility. They can capture bases. That's kind of cool. So Entenan has told me a little bit about this game, so I know bits and pieces. 
Uh, but I am a pretty hardcore Advanced Wars fan, so I don't think I should be having that much, that many issues adopting to this game. Alright, so they have a recon, they have a bike, and they have an infantry, so I guess I should just back off them. I can't take them on, so I need to fall back here. There's a good spot. Okay, so it's gonna force me to move there. Okay. Okay, what next? And turn, I suppose? Oh, that, they, those guys move really slowly. Oh, hello! Brenner, give me tactical, then. I got a single soldier being pursued by a pack of raiders. The soldier appears to be one of ours. Shall we intervene? Do it. Yes, sir, Captain. Who are you guys? Skip the introductions. Fall back and let us handle this. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, he got out of here. What's the big idea, dogface? This got nothing to do with you. It's got everything to do with me. I'm a soldier. It's my duty. You remember what duty is, don't you? I think you used to be soldiers. Duty? <laughs> don't make me laugh. This world's dead, soldier boy, and so is your precious duty. We stop being soldiers when the meteor hits. We're survivors. This is our time, and there is no law. We rob, we kill, we're kings. Not anymore. And who's gonna stop us? You? That's right. Your days of praying on survivors are over. We're going to put you down like the rabbit dogs you are. You may have forgotten your duty, but we have not. <laughs> Keep talking, loser. I need a place to aim. <laughs> I like this guy. Move out, Lin. Let's end this quickly. Yes, sir. Alright, we need to uh, do something about the speed of this game. Alright, map animation fast. Battle animation. Yeah, I've heard that the battle animation in this game is really ugly. We guess we can check it out. Oh, I do like grid. Maybe I should keep the grid on. Uh, I don't think I really need it that much. You know, I like grids, actually. But it looks ugly, so maybe I should just keep it off. What's this? Oh, background music. Okay, I think the music is fine. I checked it out before I started. Alright, let's check out this uh, combat animation that I... Yeah, I remember this one. Oh my god, that's ugly. But I think that's partly because the emulator is bugged. So, let's just turn that off immediately. No, that was map animation. <laughs> we don't want to be turning that off. Alright, normal. Alright, oh, I think I've done goofed a little bit, now I won't be able to, but the thing is I have a tank and they have only recons. I like these new units actually, they're kind of like, uh, past, they're like recons, except they can capture buildings, but I do also have recons, that's kind of cool. Alright, well, I don't see any, wow, really? Why are things moving so slowly? All units have unique specs, make sure to check the intel on each one, yes, Lane, I know. Uh, alright. I'm gonna check the chat, set the map animation to fast. Alright, ruins, what's that? Uh, ruins provide hiding places. Okay, so they're like forests. Okay, but only they have only one defense star though, so that's kinda weird. Wasteland. This impairs mobility for all but infantry and mech units. Okay, I like the different terrain. That's kinda cool. Anyway, let's go destroy this guy. Familiarizing yourself with the different terrain? Yeah, blah blah blah. You don't need to, you don't need to teach me how to play this game. Alright. Battlefields can be chaotic, confusing places, but if you are at loss for your next move, there's a way to get advice. Open the menu, select mission... Ah, I don't care. Alright, so... Oh, yeah! Right! This isn't like training at all, this is the real thing! Yes, you're right, Will, this is the real thing. So, units uh, do level up here. Uh, if you defeat an enemy unit, the winning unit's level will rise, increasing its attack and defense. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. So, uh, when you actually kill a unit, a unit levels up. This is taken from Super Famicom Wars, as far as I know. At least, that's where they first introduced level up. And they, they kind of skipped it for the later series, which I kind of disagree with, because I love the fact that the units can level up. It's amazing. So, I think this is really cool. And I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how much better they get. Uh, but it's I do like the level up aspect. It kind of gives you an incentive to keep units alive. Gah, stinking soldiers! Head for the hills. Watches were outmanned. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So what? Ah, we're gonna get wow, 317 points. S rank. Woo! So hard. This will teach them to prey on survivors. All right. So, as far as I know, there's no hard mode in this game, so I hope it's going to challenge me. Anyway, uh, we're not going to end the part here, because that was just a tutorial. We're going to play a few chapters, I think, if they're all going to be short like this. You alright, kid? Yeah, I am now, thank you. My name's Will. I'm a cadet at the Academy. I mean, I was, before the meteors. A cadet, huh? Hmm, thought I recognized that jacket. So what happened? The Academy's gone. One minute I was eating lunch, and then everyone died. Instructors and friends and everybody. 
I was buried in the mess hall. I've been digging myself out for, I don't know, weeks, I guess? How did he get enough food? Well, maybe he was carrying his lunch with him, I don't know. I looked for survivors, but I found only rubble and bodies. I thought I was the only one left. You did well to stay alive. I'm impressed. I didn't want to die. I'm Captain Brenner. I command the 12th Battalion, Pride of the Rubinel Army. And this is my second in command. Hello there. First Lieutenant Lin, welcome to Brenner's Wolves. What is it with chicks named Lin being extremely hot? I don't know, it's just a name, you know? You got like hot names and you got ugly names. If you call your if you call your daughter Jessica, you know she's gonna be hot. You know? It, that's just the way it goes. Jessica, Lin, uh, uh, I can't really think of any other names right now, but uh, those are like hot girl names. Anyway. We made it to our mission. To, we made it our mission to seek out and aid survivors of the disaster. The world is a dangerous place now. I suggest you come with us. Yes, sir. That will be fantastic. You won't be sorry about. Uh, are you all right? Sorry, I haven't eaten in a long time. That was your stomach rumbling. I thought we were under attack. Come on, we'll get you some spare rations. Just don't get too excited. All we have is canned bread. Sounds good to me. All right, stage one is clear. Let's go. Chapter two: A single life. You got permission to leave camp, Will. Don't fonder too far away. Sure thing, Captain Brenner. I'm glad you've recovered enough to be up and about. I got you to thank for it, sir. Well, don't push yourself too hard. And be careful. This area is not safe. Y yeah, I know. What's wrong? The world really has changed, hasn't it? The ash is everywhere. The sky is dark, and it's like a never-ending twilight has fallen. Even the ground is coated in it. I've never seen so much gray. Ashes to ashes. When the meteor struck, huge clouds of dust and ash filled the sky and blocked out the sun. We haven't seen a single ray since. When will the sky return to normal? Years? Decades? Who can say? Decades? Don't make that face, Will. We'll be okay. As long as there's life, there's hope. As long as there's life. Right. The world we knew is gone. But we can't give in to despair. Someday things will be set to right, and we'll have peace, and the life we had will return. That's what I believe. That's why we must help everyone we can. Uh, keep it simple. Never give up. If you can do that, anything is possible. Got it? Got it. That's the spirit. Now let's get to work. Lin, I want recon units canvassing the area. Yes, sir. Captain, I want to help too. No, I don't think so, Will. It's too dangerous. Oh, come on, look. I know I'm still just a cadet, but that doesn't matter. I can drive or search or watch this or whatever, I just want to help. You got spirit, I'll give you that. Okay, you're in, but if anything happens, get your tail back here. You're too weak to fight yet. Yes, sir. Weakling. Hey, are you alright? Can you hear me? Hang it up, kid. We're too late. He's dead. They're all dead. No! All these towns are the same. No survivors anywhere. That can't be true. There have to be people out there who need our help. What if Captain Brenner had given up on me? We have to keep looking. Okay. Hello? Is anyone there? Move it, kid. Mission's over. We got raiders coming. Let Captain Brenner step in and take care of the hostiles. You stay out. We stay out here any longer, and they'll be sizing us up for body bags. Just a little more time. I got a feeling about this. Captain Brenner always says to never give up. Oh, fuck you. All non-military personnel fall back. This is now a combat zone. Get that tank up there and block the road. Keep that artillery safe. Alright, this seems like a fairly standard mission. So this guy's out of ammo, okay. Captain, the main the tank's main cannon is out of ammunition. We can attack with the tank's machine gun, but it's far less powerful. Then that's what we'll do. Get up there and open fire. Alright. Shouldn't be a problem. Be sure to check Yeah, blah blah blah. Tutorial. Yeah, I know what an artillery unit does. Alright, let's kill this guy. Aha! Leveled up infantry. Awesome. Gar har har, you ain't getting away this time. You hear me, soldier boy? You're the punk you gonna pay! You gonna pay! Ow, gotta be careful not to lose my infantry. Hey, there's someone over there! Hold on, I'm coming! Oh, right, so I have to go into those. Okay, cool. Let's uh, ruin. Let's get over there. Can you hear me? Hold on! Is she alive? I think so. Her breathing is really faint. Come on, we gotta get her back to camp. It ain't worth the trouble, kid. I doubt she's long for this world. I'm not giving up. If you want help, I'll carry her myself. Now, seriously, soldier, what is this guy? Like the douchebag battalion? Are you serious? Hey, can you hear me? Give me a sign, will you? That's it. I ain't sticking around to rescue a corpse. Wow, what a douchebag. Like, your primary objective is to go around 
and get survivors. And you're like, oh, a half dead kid. Nah. Open your eyes. I know there's not much to see, but you can't give up. You're alive, you know. And where there's life, there's hope. Hello there. I certainly would not abandon a kid like that. Who, who are you? Okay, she's not a kid. I, that that just made me sound incredibly creepy. I know. You, you, you heard me. You're alive. Please tell me who are you? I'm Will. I'm Brenner. I'm with Brenner's Wolves. What's your name? I don't know. What do you mean? I I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Okay, okay. Don't worry. You've been through a lot. Everything's going to be just fine. Just come with me. All right. All right. Let's mop up these remaining guys. There's this a recon. Oh, this is an easy mission. What's happening? Don't worry, you're safe. You're with the Rubinel army now. Rubinel? Rubinel is one of the two main countries on this continent. At the last known date, the army employed 1,296,973 men. What the? How did you know that? Rubinel and its neighbor have been at war for a century. Despite several armistices, the fighting has never truly ended. 10% of Rubinel's GDP is expended on weaponry and research. The last recent recorded assessment of the military strength was excellent. Where did you learn that? I don't know, I don't understand. Yeah, okay, let's talk about it later. Right now, we have to get back to camp in one piece. Alright. This chick is like a walking scoreboard. Oh, units, study the terrain. Yeah, blah, blah, Lynn, I know. <laughs> I don't have patience for tutorials. Not in an advanced force game. Yeah, ammo and food is important. I assume you guys are familiar with the War series yourself. Like, if you want to watch a tutorial, go back and watch my Advanced Wars 1 Let's Play. Go on, not again, how did those dirt balls survive? This ain't over, ladies. You ain't seen the last of the beast. Alright, that's a victory. So, I'm guessing these first missions are gonna be fairly easy. What? You can actually get more than... Okay. So I didn't get max rank, but I did get S rank, though. Make sure the civilians are cared for. I am Mr. Generic Soldier Guy. Okay, I'm, I can't wait until I actually get bases and such. You okay, Will? I'm fine, sir, but the girl we found... Who is she? Oh, that was Brenner. I don't know. I found her unconscious near some ruined buildings. Good work bringing her in. What's your name, sweetie? Oh, calm down there, Brenner. She's like... A child. Yeah, I just called her hot, so I guess jokes on me too. But she is pretty though, you know, I can call her pretty. That's not creepy, right? I don't know. You don't know? Listen, kid, I... Captain Brenner, let me explain. She lost her memory. Is that what you're saying? I'm not su It's not surprising. With all that's happened to this world, sometimes I wish mine was gone too. There's more, sir. Now that's a hot chick. That, that I can say. It seems the girl has detailed no... detail... Det Detail knowledge of her army. I would be interested to know where she obtained her information. Very interested, sir. Easy, Lynn. She's a survivor who needs our help, not an enemy combatant. We'll save her, and we're going to see that she gets someplace safe. Clear? Sir. She's your responsibility now, Will. Stay with her and see that she's taken care of. Oh, I will, sir. Wink, wink. Understood. Alright, do you want to do another mission? So, what I love about Camstasia is the fact that I can see that this episode is now 18 minutes and 40 seconds long. So, I think that I'll do another one. Yeah, sure. 18 minutes is a bit too short for a video, I think. I like to keep my videos around half an hour. Okay, see the spot on the map? That's our next destination. It's a small village. A village? With people? <laughs> no, it's a village without people, you know, like every other village in this world. That's right. The earthquakes and tidal waves destroyed most of the cities, but in some places, survivors have begun banding together. This village is one such area. Amidst the anarchy and chaos, they've come together to re-establish laws and a government. Laws? Why do they have laws? The world's been destroyed, there's no one left to help them enforce their laws. That's why they're doing it on their own. They need some way to create order. No one forced them to do it. It's just a natural... It's just a natural to try and prevent murder and other crimes. You see, Will, even in the most unexpected places, humanity shows its inherent virtue. Permission to disagree, Captain. It's not proof of virtue. It's simply a survival strategy. A society that doesn't punish murderers is a society where everyone can be murdered. A society of sleepless nights where people live in fear of everyone around them. When faced with it, it only makes sense to band together and try to agree to prohibit murder. People are motivated by their own interests. The media didn't change that at all. Wow, Lin is like a philosophical douchebag. 
They, cer they certainly didn't change you, did they, Lin? I see you still don't factor in human decency. As for you, Will, you and the girl will be safe once you get to the village. You're civilian, so they'll welcome you with open arms. Who they now? Hold it right there! Identify yourselves! Don't cry anything funny, we got snipers watching! Wow, these guys are super friendly. My name's Brenner. I'm captain of the 12th Battalion of the Rubinel Army. I need to talk to your mayor. Tell him I'm... Tell him... Tell you I'm... Blah, blah, blah. Tell him I'm here. <laughs> what is... What if you're with those raiders? What if you're here to attack us? Then I think he would have attacked you already. Yeah, I bet that's it. You came back to kill us all, didn't you? Listen, we don't want any trouble. Your mayor owes me his life. Tell him my name and I'm sure he'll agree to save us. Come on, guys. Help us out, will you? Hey, you're too young to be one of them raiders. Maybe you're okay after all. Wait here, we'll get the mayor. About time. So, it's really you. Your weapons and uniforms have my people scared half to death. What do you want, Brenner? We're trying to live in peace. We don't need your can here. So it seems. Don't worry, we'll move out as soon as we finish what we came here for. We rescued some civilians a few clicks back, including an injured girl. I want you to take them. I hope you're not marching in here and giving us orders. I truly don't. Things aren't that simple, friend. My village is barely getting by as it is. No one's giving orders. I'm asking for your help. They're just a couple of kids. They're not going to make it out here alone. And that's not our fault. We didn't make this world. We have to live in it. That's reality. Reality? The reality is that there's nothing out there but cockroaches and corpses. These people survived. They're alive. And it's up to us to keep them that way. Maybe that was true before, but now I don't think so. Millions and millions of people are dead. I don't think a couple more is such a tra- Wow, this is like douchebag McDouchebag- McDouchism. Really? The more people we have living here, the more miles we have to feed. We can't afford it. So you think they're not- So you think they're not worth saving? That's not what I'm saying. We don't want to see anyone die, Brenner. You know that. But you know that- Don't know what you're asking. We simply don't have the means to take them in. I'm sorry. I see. You're soldiers. You can use your weapons to take what you need. All we want is to be left in peace. Now do us a favor and take your troubles elsewhere. You heard the mayor. Hit the road. We don't need warmongers in our lives. You read me? I read you. Sorry, Will, but it looks like you're going to be traveling with us until we find another village. Don't worry, Captain. That's fine with... Head for cover! Those raiders are back! Where's the mayor? The raiders? Are you sure? Oh, guess we should have befriended the battalion now. Look at this roaches, soldier boys visiting our village. <laughs> Nothing like a nice day of raiding murder and revenge. Guar har har. This guy is just too evil. I'm sorry. I'm having issues taking him seriously. Out of all, of all the luck. Dear mother of mercy, look at those savages. You gotta help us, Brenner. Oh, now's the time you say fuck you and leave. They've destroyed every village in the region, and now they've come for us. All those innocent lives. They have tanks, we have sticks and rocks, please, you have to help us. Alright, leave them to us. You get your people out of here, start evacuating. Regards to payments? There's no time for that now, get moving. Alright, Captain, we have only five units at our disposal, while the enemy has nine. They enjoy a significant advantage in firepower. Bullets don't win wars, soldiers do. I'm betting ours are smarter. <laughs> Wow, caught him on that. It should be easy. All right, we got some mechs. Well, I see. Uh, I'll see what the game wants us to do. The enemy unit has. Yeah, mountains are good. I get it. So I like this new format of moving. Like when you actually press move, it asks you to confirm the move. Now, what this uh, prevents you from doing in fog of war, it prevents you from scouting around because in advanced wars, when you press here, the unit would actually move. And then you could press B to actually make the unit go back, so you can actually scout out, but you can't do that in this game, and I actually really like that. I'm not sure if you get what I mean, but once I confirm the move, the unit moves, and then I won't be get, getting the opportunity to move it back again. So that's actually a really well thought out uh, game mechanic right there, and I really like that. Alright, let's level up our mech. Okay, so those guys are dead, I guess we're just gonna choke the hell out of them, then this is a good place to place our artillery. Can attack with the uh, Gwar Har Har. Is that all you got? We're gonna slaughter you! Move, I want that dog's face head on a plate. I am too generic. I am generic villain number one. Alright. We're still outnumbered, and these scum will fight to the last man. That's right, sir. I think we'll have to eliminate them all. Thank you, Lin. Alright, let's attack with the artillery first. And. Do we wanna get our tank up to rank 2? I think we do. 
That's kind of cool. We can leave the mech here, go back from the mountain if need be. And we'll create sort of a wall around here, I suppose. We also have a level 1 mech right here. That's kind of cool. So you just can get up to level 3. That's kind of cool. I like that. Alright. Let's see. We have a... We could actually attack the mech right now, but that would, that would also mean our mech would die. So I'm actually not sure if I want to do that. Let's see. We could actually get our tank up to rank 3, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to pause to record. Alright. It was just a little bit of an interruption. This is also something I love about Camstasia. Uh, normally, with Fraps, I'd have to stop the recording and make a new one, and then attach the two movies together in, in a virtual dub. I won't have to do that anymore. I can just pause the recording and just resume it, and the it, it does it automatically for me, which is insanely good. Alright, so I have a choice here. I can actually attack with... I think I'm just going to do it. I would like to try and keep most of my units alive, but... This works too. One of the mechs units have been hit. It's not looking too good. There's another... Alright, they can be joined together. Combining two damage units. Yeah, I get it. However, the mech will actually survive. That's cool. Uh, let's just destroy the artillery. Uh, let's give the tank a level up. I really like that it's actually based on kills. That is actually incredibly cool. Alright. My tank is actually running out of ammo now. Oh no, my mech! What are you waiting for? Kill them! Kill them all! I'm going to wipe you out if it's the last thing I do. Alright, kill, kill, kill. This is gonna be a kill, I think. Yeah! Awesome! No! You're gonna pay for this! Head for home, roaches. We'll feast on these fools another day. Alright! S rank again! That's how the 12th Battalion fights. We're awaiting confirmation on the enemy withdrawal. Sir, they're gone. They're not a raider to be seen for miles. Good work, everyone. Captain Brenner, I'd like to revisit our earlier conversation. I'm not about cons reconsidering my position on your refugees. Is that so? It is, however, there is one condition. Go on. As you've seen, we live in constant danger from those raiders. They may well regroup and attack us again tomorrow. Do you really think it's a good idea to leave your kids in such a situation? Kids, hey, I can look after. We know where, where the raiders camp is. They've taken over an old army base east of here. Unfortunately, we don't have the weapons or training to go after them. I get it, so we wipe out the raiders and you'll agree to take in. Something like that, yes. If you agree my proposal, I'll consider your request. Alright, so we're gonna go take out the raider camp. That's kinda cool. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, 27 minutes. Actually, it's like 28 right now. So I think I'll end this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of uh, Let's Play Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. So far, my uh, my initial reaction is that I really like this game. Uh, I like the fact that it keeps a lot of the sounds. Like, for example, when the recon moves, it's actually the same sound as in the previous Advanced Wars games. So that's a light, nice homage. Uh, the buildings, actually, that you can see here is also very similar. And the minimap is exactly the same. If you look at the minimap to the right there, it's actually identical. So the game does actually keep a lot of the old features, just with a more gritty and realistic graphic. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this game so far, and I'm looking forward to see how the story progresses. So far, the characters are a little bit generic, but hey, that's to be expected. I never really did play Advanced Wars because of its rich universe and characters. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. My name is Hin Manx, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.